Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another decluttering video. Today we are going to be tackling the laundry room. It's horrible. Like, <laughs> it's just a dumping ground for everyone's crap, for the stuff we don't know what to do with. It's just a dumping ground here and our garage. I'm sure like most people, everyone has that catch-all. Ours is here. So, I am going to be really going through, getting rid of a lot of stuff. I'm going, as you guys know, room by room and really focusing on minimalism and having less stuff. So, this room is going to be kind of hard because I keep a lot of things for like hosting and functions and things like that, which we host a lot during normal times. We're not right now. So it's really hard for me to say like, yes, we use this or no, we don't because we haven't done anything in almost a year. So <laughs> it's kind of hard. But if I haven't used anything in the last few times we have hosted, it's getting out of here. So I'll give you a quick little tour. I have about an hour and a half before I need to leave to go pick up my son from school. So I'm going to try to get all of this done in that time. So wish me luck. But let me give you a little tour of everything. And please don't judge because it's pretty bad. So <laughs> this is just piled with junk. There's like the dog food. And we had to bring the dog's crate. She doesn't go in it really at all. But if we leave for long periods of time we put her in there because long story short she had surgery twice as a puppy and if she like gets into anything or eats anything and needs surgery like she wouldn't survive the surgery so if we leave longer than like going to pick the kids up from school or running a quick errand she goes in the crate and obviously it's too cold to have it in the garage so we had to move it in here there's like my stock pot that needs to get put away there's my label maker there's just stuff from christmas that's the rug that i had in the kitchen from christmas and inside all of these is just filled to the brim with stuff. In this cabinet here is all of my china. I have two sets of china. One that was my grandmother's and one that was my mother-in-law's that she gave me. I am keeping all of that, so I'm not even gonna open that cabinet. In here is just junk, essentially. So. I'm gonna get a trash bag and I can't even really get in here right now to even show you what's in here. So we'll start with this mess, this mess, and then we will go from there. starting by clearing out all of the stuff that is like the big things like the ironing board dog food those kind of things just to give me a little space to work with so I'm just going to go through all of that and it was like cobwebs and a big spider that I just sucked up with the vacuum <laughs> I know their spiders are good but I wasn't going to go put it outside so I got all of that cleaned up and I just kind of vacuumed off some of the dog fur that I saw on the dog crate. Now I'm just going through all of these big piles that are on the counter here.
There was so much stuff under these cabinets. They're very like deep cabinets and there was just so much stuff down there. I tried to make at one point like a little area for the kids to keep all their craft stuff before we had the cra craft cart downstairs. So I think that's kind of how everything got just kind of shoved in there and forgotten about. So I had too many of the same things in too many different places. Like the kids have two areas where they color in the house which is great but then I had more stuff in here so I got rid of all of that the station I kept all the craft stuff but and I just am going through and getting rid of some of these things that I have not used in a very long time I had like four or five vases down there I did not need all of those so I only kept one big one and one small one so fast baby I will show you how you can catch my vibe and right away I so much time looping in the blurry lights While I was filming this video, I was listening to, um, to early 2000s R&B and hip hop. And clearly there was a song on that I liked because I'm <laughs> dancing and singing away. And Austin told me that I had to keep that in the video because he thought it was hilarious. So there it is. All right, so I've been at this just about an hour. So let me show you what I have got done so far. So I got rid of a ton of stuff in there. There's just light bulbs and then like our halogen light bulbs that I wanted to pull out so we saw that they were there and that little seal was my grandmother's. I've had it for years, but that's why that's up there. I have this bin that is just full of craft things like thank you cards, extra tape. Um, let's see. Twine, little thing with like the decorative um, clothes pins, mostly thank you cards, like I said, tape, little um, chalkboard signs, cards, paper, things like that. And then I just have some of this extra washi tape in here. I don't use it that much. I used to use it in my planners, but ever since I got the new planner, I have not been using it. But I'll have to find something. The kids, I'm sure, will use it with a craft or something. And here just has my label maker. We got this for Christmas. It's like the battery daddy. And you can like test the batteries and stuff with it. So this is where all our batteries are now. We have some carpet tape back there. All our command strips and hooks. Some extra batteries and these little candles from the dollar store that I use on the mantle. And we have extras just in case of like an emergency. Um, like a power outage or whatever, like they're flameless for the kids. So those are always good to have on hand. So that cabinet is done. All right, so then in here, I just have like 
Waterford crystal things that we got for our wedding that we've never touched or opened, but I want to save. Our champagne glasses from our wedding. Um, something for the kids. They each had like their pre-K portfolio, so I have one of those for each of them back there. Okay, my camera battery died, but um, I have just extra baking things, and I have that piece of like marble slab. I make my cheese boards and things like that on there. Um, down here, I just have, I, I don't use this, but I'm keeping it there just for now. I don't think I've ever used it, but I feel like that's one of those things like you don't use often, but then when you wanna bring something somewhere, you don't have it, like a cake, like cupcakes, anything like that. So there's not really, it's not really taking up too much space. So I'm gonna leave it there. There are some old photo albums and then a big thermos in case power outages, things like that. Over here is my serving dishes. There's my cake stand. There is two vases that I saved. I got rid of the rest. I got saved one big one and one small one. I have this little crock pot like to heat up gravy and things like that. There is my bundt cake pan and just my regular cake pan. And then down here, I have all of my Fiesta ware and Le Crusette things. So. I don't know what I want to do with all of this yet, so I'm keeping it here for now in case I decide to get rid of it. I don't know. I love it, but I hate it at the same time because it's so heavy and so bulky and so big, so we're keeping it down here for now. So I just need to, I have about 20 minutes before I need to leave, so I just need to straighten up all of this, wipe everything down, I have stuff over here. I have stuff over there, I have stuff over there, and then all of this is going. <laughs> and that trash bag over there is filled to the brim. So let me get myself organized here, but all of this is going to be donated. Now I'm just going through everything, putting things where they belong and just wiping all of the counters down because everything got really dusty and like cobwebs and stuff because everything was just kind of cluttered up and piled up for a while. So just getting everything nice and clean.
am done. I completed it with like six minutes to spare. So let me just show you how everything came out. I didn't really like reorganize anything. I just got rid of a ton of stuff as you saw. Like it was just, it's like the, where I get rid of stuff and things I'm not sure I want to get rid of or not end up here. So if I don't take them out, out they go. So I have a huge contractor bag full of stuff. So let me show you how everything looks. So I already showed you inside the cabinets, but let me just give you another peek. Everything is organized and clean. I didn't spend any money to get like matching bins or anything like that. Everything is fine the way it is. Super organized in here. Like I said, I just have my china, so I'm just leaving that the way it is. And down here, I already showed you everything is neat and organized. I put the stock pot down there because I forgot that was sitting on the washing machine. And then I just wiped down all of the counters. I put my drying rack behind the dog crate. Put the ironing board behind that as well. Put the laundry baskets on top of here. And there's her food bowls. And then I just wiped off everything on here and got everything cleaned up because stuff was collecting on here. I just need to empty that trash, but everything else then over here, there's nothing except our fire extinguisher and the dog food. So that is how everything came out and I am so glad that I did this like I was like oh maybe I'll wait and do it later I've been putting it off putting it off as you guys saw in my last video like when I did the downstairs I was supposed to do this too but it was just another like that was a project and this was a project although it was only like took me an hour and a half to do a little more it's still like compiled on top of another project it was just too much so I'm glad I split it up I'm glad I did it the way I did it and I'm glad it's done <laughs> so let's see if I can keep it this way Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. I have a ton of cleaning motivation. I'm working on a huge spring cleaning, like master list and huge, huge video. Like it will give you tons of spring cleaning motivation that will be coming next month to get you prepared for your spring cleaning. Cause I'm, I don't know about you guys, but it's freezing here in Massachusetts, but it's sunny and beautiful and giving me all like the spring vibes. So I hope you guys consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.